How's the shoulder this morning? Mm. Better. You know, you really can get someone to finish that drilling. Yeah, I'd rather do it myself. Keeps me in shape. That's what you call that pain? Keeping in shape? I'm not just going to sit around here and grow old. Not really sure you have a choice in that. You know, you could call Morris, see what he has for a guy with your chops. He's called twice. I know, I know. Probably got a stack of codes or something he wants me to look over. Aggravate my astigmatism. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that's what he wants. He has a bunch of words and numbers to decode, and he just thought to himself, I'll call Harold, see if I can get him to go crazy or blind, whichever comes first. You know he pays well. I have enough money. What you have is enough attitude. Yeah, I feel the love. Seriously, maybe you should just call Morris and see if he has a career gig overseas. And you can just kick back, take a nice relaxing plane ride to maybe Wales or Switzerland. Yeah, or Pakistan. I give up. I gotta get dressed, go to town, pick up Jim Donner's taxes. You know, he made a really sweet deal on some 300 acres last year out in Regis. Well, that's all we need. One more bean field. I think he's planting kale next year. Kale? Why kale? Well, the early frost makes it sweeter, and it's not like a loss will do him any damage. I mean, the guy's loaded, believe me. Well, remind him he still owes me 10 bucks on the Rangers game. <laughs> Thought you had enough money. Hello, can I help you? Hi, how are you? This is gonna sound strange, but I'm from out of town and my dog just made a mess all over the car. <laughs> I need some washer to clean the mess up. Might I trouble you for some? Sure, no problem. Come on in. Are you visiting anyone in the area? Indeed I am. I'm here to see Mr. Marks. Who are you? Go sit down. I don't recognize you. And you wouldn't. But you knew my father. And how would I know your father? You were the last person to see him alive. Right before you put a bullet in his head. Could have been any number of men. You might want to give me some more of the story. 1999. Tangier. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that man. Sean Kelsey. Aye. He was my father. How well did you know your father? I loved him. That wasn't my question. I know all I need to know. I know you're the assassin that killed him. And how could you possibly know that? Because I've asked the right people the right questions over the last 10 years. I know it positively. You know your father was personally responsible for the deaths of a lot of innocent people. Your father put profit and personal gain above anything else. This coming from a man who kills for money. You can look at it that way. And since you've obviously come here to kill me, you might want to give me just a couple of minutes before you do what you came here to do. And then you can have the satisfaction of seeing me sprawled out on this table in a pool of blood. That ought to satisfy your desires. You have two minutes. That's very generous of you. Do you know your father was also an assassin? That's a lie. What's your name? Celia. 
Well, Celia, did you know your father was a contracted soldier of fortune? And a damn good one. So good, in fact, he was almost impossible to locate. His code name was Asp, like the snake. He was clever and totally ruthless. But he made a mistake of killing the wife of an ambassador to a wealthy foreign state, hoping the ambassador would resign out of grief. What he didn't know was the ambassador and his wife were going through a nasty divorce at the time. Instead of causing him grief, it enraged him because he was left with nine children to care for. Ambassador did quit his job, went into hiding, dedicating himself to finding the killer. It's just a matter of time before somebody took your father out, if not me. I only silenced terrorists. Never women, never children. So, you have morals? I prefer to call it limits. Helps me sleep at night. I've given you your time. Make peace with your last few moments. Do you know, Celia, that I also have a daughter? No. Am I supposed to care? Well, you might want to in this case. Don't kill her. Wow, that would have left a really big hole. Well, that's good if you're a bad shot. So what do we do with her? I bet she lied about that dog. What? <laughs> Never mind. I have an idea. 